okay. Hi guys. So this is um, day one of our product live series. Um, we're going to be going over almost all of the products um, as well as like the science behind them and how they work in our bodies. I feel like this is a resource that um, we don't really have, um, at least in the way that um, me and Mary plan to present it. Um, so I'm really excited. I am um, going to go over like the title says, how probiotics work in our bodies. So I'm going to be talking about probiotic 5 and vital biome, um, as well as going over the science of our microbiomes like in our bodies. So you guys understand that because that's really, I mean, it's needed to understand that in order to understand how probiotics work. Um, but I'm going to do it in such a way, at least my goal is to make it um, as understandable as possible. Science is my background. I have a degree in biology. Like, I love it. <laughs> I actually spent the last, like, hour and a half researching stuff um, just to make sure I had everything for you guys put together really well. Um, and I, like, am giddy. Um, but I know that not everybody's like that. So my goal is to make this as easily understandable as possible, not only for you guys to understand it, but also so that you can easily explain it to all of your potential clients um, who need to understand all of this stuff, because that's what we are. We're like gurus in the um, supplement and health field, right? So hi, Kim. Hi. Um, and I can't see, I don't think I can see comments right now if they're coming up. Um, or anything, but I'll check them later. I want to get this done short and sweet um, so it's easy to rewatch back and it's a great resource for you guys. So let's start with what is our like microbiome. Um, so I have some notes too. I'm going to be looking down um, just to make sure I get everything. But um, so our entire ecosystem is full of, in our bodies, you know, we have like tiny micro ecosystem inside our own body um, that is full of a bunch of different microbes, which just means these are like symbiotic microbes that work in organisms that work with our bodies, like bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Um, so all of those fun little things, um, microorganisms that work inside our body and work with our body, actually. Um, and what's really cool is that humans um, actually they're thought to have anywhere from three to 10 times as much non-human cells in our bodies as human cells. So you're actually more like bacteria than you are human. Fun fact. Um, but they actually work with our digestive tract, um, with our, like we have a mixture of bacteria, viruses, fungi, everything in our mouths, our throats, um, our entire digestive tract, our, when I talk about our gut microbes, I'm usually talking about small and large intestine, um, as well as rectum, um, as well, and we also have a um, ecosystem inside our vaginas as well for women. Um, so it's important to keep these all in balance. <laughs> so anyway, um, like I said, they work with our bodies to fight off pathogens um, that enter our body as well. So the good bacteria fights off the bad bacteria, good fungi, bad fungi, um, all that jazz. Um, but it also helps make sure all these microorganisms make sure we absorb all the available nutrients possible in our body. So if you have malabsorption um, issues, um, it could be followed back to your gut health. Fun fact. Um, okay, so when we have a disruption of our gut flora, um, this allows for organisms that don't work well with our bodies to overgrow and cause lots of various issues. And one of the main ones that is really easy to overgrow is um, the, fu or the fungus candida. And so um, you can, might hear that a lot, like yeast overgrowth, fungus overgrowth. That tends to be the strain that it is. Um, and so a lot of different things can overgrow, but that one is most prevalent um, in our society. So that is why Probio 5 is so amazing, but I'm going to get to that. Anyway, um, so when our gut floor is disbalanced, a lot of things can happen. Um, I might have to flip to my other page here. But it's been studied to show like our gut floor in general affects our immune health, our metabolism, um, as well as mental health. So Google like the gut brain axis. It's really, really interesting and I could talk about it for hours. But that's not what this is about. Um, so when we have dysbiosis, so it means it's not, you know, 
working great. Hey, hey, Kayla. Um, it's not in balance. Our gut bacteria is in imbalance. What can happen is when the yeast overgrows, some symptoms are, um, of course, digestive issues like gas, bloating, indigestion, um, but also, of course, fungal infections like thrush, vaginal yeast infections, um, skin fungal infections, all of that jazz. Um, but also because the gut flora is shown to affect our immune health, metabolism, everything, as well as our mental health. When you have a yeast overgrowth, you can also have um, immune difficulties, um, difficulty concentrating, poor memory, brain fog, irritability, mood swings, um, allergies, even such things as anxiety and depression, um, and strong sugar and refined carb cravings because that's what the yeast thrives off of. Um, so, uh, and the reason I want to talk to you about the immune difficulties, um, a lot of, there's still a lot of research out on this, but it's been overwhelmingly showing that um, leaky gut syndrome, which is caused by a dysbiosis in our gut flora, um, basically means that the lining in our gut opens up to allow proteins to pass through when they shouldn't, and it passes through to our bloodstream. And our immune system doesn't like that. Um, and so our immune system starts to attack our own bodies. So depending upon where those proteins end up and a lot of other scientific stuff um, depends on where our own bodies attack attack itself. So think of a bunch of different autoimmunes. I mean, I'm not technically supposed to name these, but I'm going to anyway. Um, like Hajimoto's, um, fibromyalgia. <sighs> I should have written these down. But anyway, um, a lot of uh, most autoimmunes are caused by leaky gut syndrome, and leaky gut is caused by poor gut health, like a dysbiosis. So it's really important to keep our guts in line. So before I talk about probiotics and how they help us, we need to talk about what causes um, our gut to become a dysbiosis. So number one, like what affects our gut health, is um, antibiotics, like broad spectrum antibiotics that you would get prescribed to you, um, like the pharmaceutical kind. And the problem with that, they, they're they life-saving, and um, they can be, And um, but the problem is, is that unless they are truly, truly needed, they do more harm than good. And a lot of times they are over-prescribed, and it's, I could talk about this forever, I won't. <laughs> um, but anyway, antibiotics, they not only kill the bad bacteria that is negatively affecting your body, um, which most likely wouldn't have been an issue had your gut bacteria been in, you know, biosis before, but that's a different topic. Um, but it kills the bad bacteria as well as the good bacteria. And then your entire ecosystem in your body is thrown off, and that's when it allows for um, bad organisms that don't work well with your body to overgrow, okay? Um, pregnancy. <laughs> You can't see my belly, but um, actually, fun fact, it throws off um, your gut bacteria balance. It's the hormonal imbalance. It actually resembles um, metabolic issues like diabetes and how that affects your gut flora as well. So it's really important for pregnant women to be aware of their gut health during pregnancy. Um, hormonal birth control for the same exact reasons that pregnancy affects your gut health and your gut flora um, because birth hormonal birth control um, makes your body think that it's pregnant essentially so same reasons there um, having a poor diet that's not very well rounded affects your gut flora too much alcohol um, I mean I love me some wine you know don't get me wrong but too much alcohol really negatively affects it um, not eating or consuming enough prebiotics, which are just food, um, to raise the healthy gut flora in your body, um, which is why um, our Slim is so great, but that's a different day. Um, and stress negatively affects our gut flora as well as not getting enough sleep. So what can we do to improve our gut flora? Well, number one, consume more prebiotics. Um, I'm going to go into more information on that when we talk about Slim, but this is just like non-soluble fiber that we don't digest, but the bacteria, the good bacteria in our bodies do, and it helps it grow. Um, take slash consume more probiotics. Yep, because we need to put that good bacteria back in our body. Um, make sure you're getting enough sleep, reduce the stress in your life, um, and consume more polyphenols. Ooh, what is that? Okay, uh, we're gonna get to that when we talk about X Factor Plus. Um, but polyphenols, it's essentially your body doesn't digest them until it gets to the colon, and it feeds the really good bacteria in your colon to help protect um, 
your gut, essentially. Um, you can find these in blueberries, red wine, dark chocolate, and green tea. Um, those are like really large sources of polyphenols, but also in our X Factor Plus. So boom, boom. Okay, so let's talk about why ProBio5 specifically. Like we could say, oh, take a probiotic, but what makes ProBio5, there we go, and Vital Biome so special and amazing here, okay? So I'm going to start with ProBio5. Now this has um, five strains of probiotics um, and then four digestive enzymes. So let me flip my page here. Um, the digestive enzymes, let's start with those because that's what makes ProBio5 so special. Um, basically, they're there for healthy digestion. Um, they break down the cell walls of plant-based foods to help you absorb more nutrition from them. Um, but also, um, serapeptase is one of the enzymes. It's pro, um, protease, chitinase, cellulase, and serapeptase. Um, serapeptase is a known anti-inflammatory. Fun fact, it's also an ease. Um, but chitinase is the super special one here because what it does, um, it breaks down chitin, chitinase, chitin, right? Eats it, breaks it down because that's what enzymes do. Um, the, and that is the hard hour layer that is grown with that yeast overgrowth in your gut that comes from a disbalance in your gut bacteria. So not only is ProBio5 putting good strains back in your body, um, but it's also breaking down that yeast and getting rid of it because you can put as much good bacteria as you want into your gut, but it's not going to kill off that yeast. Um, and it's really hard to kill off that yeast with diet alone. Um, so if you know that you have a yeast overgrowth or one of your clients does, ProBio5 is what is for them. Um, it really helps restore your gut to good health. Um, and I'm going to talk about the difference between Vital Biome and ProBio5. Um, but one of the big things to know is that's what ProBio5 does is um, it focuses on restoring your gut health and getting rid of that yeast. So um, Vital Biome has eight probiotic strains. Um, and it's main purpose um, is to, like, the strains in it are scientifically, like, clinical study. We have clinical studies on these um, to improve your good bacteria. It's like food for your gut. It's putting all that good bacteria back in that's been killed off by antibiotics, hormonal changes, um, poor diet, stress, not eating, all of that stuff. And these probiotic strains, because the gut is connected to our brain as well as so many other things in our immune system, it helps improve immune health as well as reduce feelings of stress and anxiety in our body. So it promotes more serotonin, which is our happiness hormone. Like, and this is all clinically studied, like we can officially say this. So what is the difference in ProBio5 and Vital Bio? Um, and how do you know which one to recommend? So the difference is ProBio5 here, my glorious little best friend. Um, it's a corrective agent with really powerful um, enzymes that are designed to help weed out the intestinal yeast while also improving digestive health. So it has 2 billion CFUs, which are just units of probiotics, um, and five strains. Now, Vital Biome, on the other hand, is specifically formulated to feed um, or seed, whichever one you would put, like puts good seeds in your gut, um, with significant levels of good microbiome, or good microbes, excuse me. It has 20 billion CFUs, so 10 times as much as ProBio5, um, and eight strains, which like I said, I mentioned, are clinically proven to reduce feelings of stress and anxiety. It also improves our mood, reduces GI distress, bloating, and discomfort, as well as improves our immune health. Um, and it also, what's really cool about the Vital Biome is um, it has a time release capsule. So it doesn't release until it gets to the spot in your intestines where it's supposed to release. Um, so Vital Biome, in other words, is just completely and utterly amazing. Um, if someone already is in great health, they don't have a yeast overgrowth, um, Vital Biome is like the top-notch best probiotic on the market that you can get. Um, but if most people, that's the problem, most people have um, some sort of dysbiosis already in their bodies um, and they have some sort of yeast overgrowth. So 
um, probiotic 5 is what you would recommend to them. Now, first, obviously. So, um, probiotic 5 restores balance. It even says this on the bottles. And vital biome um, is intensive gut microbe support. These can be taken together. I mean, ideally, that would be amazing. Um, but I hope that helps clear up some maybe confusion there. Uh, and I hope all of this helps you understand better why probiotics are good for us, how they work in the body, um, what our microbiomes are, because we use that word a lot, as well as um, helping you know like why our specific probiotics are so freaking awesome. Um, it's because of all of the things that I mentioned. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Um, tag your team. I'll make sure that I'm on here to answer any questions. Um, anyway, thanks for hopping on live, you guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.